Hey you guys, I was planning on doing something really fun today. So I'm not gonna do a video. Fuck you. Come on, yeah, come on, yeah, come on, yeah, come on. Nah, I'm just messing with you guys. The fun part that is. <laughs> no, again, I'm just joking. Today we are actually gonna be playing some zombies. As we all know, Jason Blundell, the co founding father. I guess I should say, of Zombies, has left Treyarch. And today, we are going to be playing a little bit of Black Ops 4 Zombies, talking about some of the achievements, memorable maps, his favorite maps, and also what is to come in the next Treyarch game, Black Ops 5, whatever it is called. So yeah, and also, we are going to be completing Dark Matter. New Game Partner. Hey, how's it going everyone? So I thought I'd just drop in to um, say hello. Cause thinking about it, it's actually been a really long time since I've spoken to you guys. How's your day going dude? Is everything fine at home? Do you feel like you're still missing something? Well, three letters can help you with that. N. G. O. So uh, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Click down below. Do it. Do it, 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 So yeah, the news about um, Jason Blundell leaving broke out, I believe it was last Saturday or Sunday, the beginning of the month. And I know it's uh, taken a while for me to actually like put out a video about my thoughts and all that, if you guys care. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, this is huge news. This is exactly I feel exactly how I did when uh, Jimmy Zielinski left um, Treyarch, which was very sad, but at the same time relieved. He was not on a very good run near the end of his life cycle, so it was kind of welcomed to have someone new at the helm, like Jason Blundell. But now since he's gone, he's kind of like a uh, fallen to like the same unfortunate path as Zelensky, I would say. Like, he had an amazing run in Black Ops 3. Totally just set the bar for zombies that just can't be reached again. And here comes Black Ops 4 with a whole bunch of maps that just didn't connect with the fans. And some that were pretty memorable, and that did. For instance, 9 is a great map. I'm pretty sure this is everyone's favorite map in Black Ops 4. Ancient Evil is another great map. And Tag to Toten is also another beautiful remaster as well. Re remake, I should say. But man, that, uh, that man has created so many memorable maps. So many. Mob of the Dead, Origins, Dirajandraka, Shadows of Evil, Revelations, Gorod Crowley, Zetsu Monoshima. You see, like, I can just name those. Those are such memorable good maps. Not all for the good reasons, too. Like, Zetsubo, I... I hate Zetsubo, just to say, but it's mem it's memorable. That's that's for sure. And what he did for zombies in the for the Call of Duty game in general, like brought so many like fans, like relapsed fans and new players to the game to the zombie mode, and it made it into like the powerhouse that it was in 2016, 17. To be able to come up with a DLC five, something that <laughs> was rumored like freaking since what Black Ops two and yeah they he actually like pulled it off it was it was a crazy time to be a zombies fan and to me his greatest achievement i would say would be derizen rocka that is that is the most perfect map that has ever been made in all of call of duty zombies from the easter egg to the story to the gameplay to the wonder weapons to everything everything was just so good the replayability was there and it was it was beautiful and that is one thing that black ops 4 obviously lost that jason blundell i guess lost during the way was uh the replayability he got so focused on um designing the end of the storyline that it just he just lost his way at the end i'm like not taking anything away from him at all like he he did a great job like, we can't talk about all the good stuff without mentioning the bad things jason did oh that is beautiful that's exactly what i needed we are getting dark matter today ladies and gentlemen Woo! but no the bad obviously comes down to one game black ops 4 and 
Holy crap, man. We had such high expectations. And I think that was the problem, too. We expected so much from um, the Zombies team this time around. After just, like, being let down from um, World War II Zombies. And, in a way, Infinite Warfare Zombies. Even though it turned out to be, like, one of the funnest uh, Zombies iterations to date. But, I think, like that mix in with all the fatigue the thing is it was also way too much zombies too like i think we definitely definitely needed the, needed a break needed a really big break which is why i'm glad that modern warfare did not bring zombies because oh shit i cannot do another year of zombies i think i'm burnt the shit out no i'm freaking all over the place here let's get back on track freaking let's talk about the worst map the my least favorite map of all time from jason blundell and Believe it or not, it's not Blood of the Dead. It's Alpha Omega. That map is just... I think that's just the laziest map in the world. Like, it was... It was all in blackout. And it took them... I don't know. It was just a very disappointing reveal. We all knew it was coming, but like... I don't know. The elemental ray guns were cool at first, but then like... I just... I just didn't really see a point to it. I kind of just wanted something new. And the Easter egg, I heard it was easy, but I didn't try it. I wasn't even freaking interested at all because, holy crap, the spawn, there's so many things you had to do. Like, the spawn locations were just too, it was almost like a complete copy of Dead of the Night of, um, part-wise. And that just really kills the flow for me of a game, of a zombies game. But now, overall, I just found, like, the map pretty boring. Like, the story, I didn't really like like at all it just almost it, it just really made me freaking bored i guess that's what i could say and that's the worst thing you could say about a uh a game in general is that it is boring insanity mode was cool but it's it's not like you know it's it's nothing towards me like i i just don't like anything about that map i just find it ugly boring and not replayable at all. And to date, it is my least played map of all time. But yeah, it was a really amazing, memorable ride. Thank you, Jason Blundell. Treyarch, 2005 to 2019. 13 years of amazing service to the troops here. Some of you guys were wondering like, wait, he just resigned this year, like not too long ago. We just saw the statement. Well, there was a whole bunch of rumors that he was actually let go or he had let left the studio around before the time Alpha Omega came out, which would make sense because he didn't show up in any streams at all, like when they were promoting uh, the DLC or anything. Like he was just completely radio silent. I remember like right after, um dead of the night he was answering twitter questions all that stuff he was being very vocal with the community and then it just just stopped and it was very weird but at that time we all suspected that he was fired or he had quit treyarch but it doesn't matter now because he is officially gone and it was a very sad day but then again it it was the birth of something new man the next zombies game is is no longer shackled anymore by Blundell's vision. They are now free to explore new areas, do new things, and just like not have to worry about focusing on one man's vision. Now this is like a whole team effort at this moment because we don't know who the freaking um new lead of uh, zombies is they haven't announced it yet which is a very smart move good job activision build up some of that hype but it is very interesting like i would say maybe lee ross because he had a lot to do with the uh, zombies in blackout and he was the lead on um infinite warfare zombies and i also like see a lot of people like really really worried that zombies is just completely gone now like they've lost their freaking the brains behind it don't forget that Craig Houston is still there. The freaking man who written down everything for zombies since its inception in 2008. And the day we lose him is the day we can really like cry because that's when zombies will pretty much be over. Like right now is the end of an era. The end of the Blundell era. 
And just a quick note, um, Blundell was not the person who designed the maps personally. Like, they were his maps, it was his vision, but, like, he did not personally create, uh, the map itself. Those were, like, a whole bunch of other people from, uh, Treyarch, so... Now, since they have Raven and, um, Sledgehammer under their belt, there's, there's just so much talent in those studios, and... I think if just given a little bit of care, a little bit of freaking attention, zombies can zombies will be great again. I uh, I should not have used that. That 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 just irked me inside. So yeah, there is no need to be sad or worried. Maybe a little bit worried, but like no need to be sad at all. I think zombies is going to be taken care of just like how it was when Zelensky left. Because we all said the same thing when he left. Like wow, zombies is dead. We lost the. Uh, we lost the creator of zombies, but look what we got. We got Black Ops 3 and 4. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry about getting this video out or a video out in general. I know it's been like two or three weeks since I've actually sat down and edited a video for you guys and actually talked to you. But I've been, I've just been so personally messed up the last, uh few weeks i guess this this whole i would say this whole 2020 i've just been not in the right headspace started off good like the first week and then everything just hit the fan and i lost control so yeah so thank you for chilling with me and sticking by me it really means a lot and i felt really bad not uploading for you guys like it's it's been just it's been very very stressful and i also saw that the channel grew a little bit that actually surprised me like that actually got me a little bit motivated to actually make something too because what good is a channel if nothing is being uploaded to it <laughs> yeah here we are we are here on black ops 4 little tribute to jason blundell for all the work that he has done for zombies and all the things he's done for me personally in my life he's actually changed my life like crazy not all good <laughs> but um yeah so yeah i wanted to get all that out give my thoughts on uh him leaving and what or how i feel about um what the future of zombies holds and like i said i think it's in good hands like craig houston is there there's a lot of freaking talent like they just they've pretty much consumed every single uh, zombie developer there was in um under the activision banner so i think we are I think we are in a very, very good place. So yeah, I am going to have to do a lot of freaking rounds here. A lot of kills with this gun to actually get Dark Matter because that is something I said I was going to do at the start of the video and god damn it, I have it right now. I'm going to get it done. There is one weird thing that I will say. There has been an, like an awful lot of, I guess like leaks for zombies already and it's it's just really weird like how we know so much already and it's like i don't know it makes me wonder like how long this has actually been planned because apparently like dlc 4 was for black ops 4 was done like freaking way before like jason was even gone so first of all it makes me wonder like if the rumors are even true and if they are, how are they getting leaked? How is everything getting leaked so far? Like, it's... Don't get me wrong. Leaks get me excited. Like, they get me freaking hard. But, like, I don't understand. I just don't understand, like, how the hell all this could be happening. Like, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Because, for one, it takes away all the suspicion and all that. But, like, who knows? Like, all this stuff that's coming out could just be fake. And someone could just be trying to have some fun with all the freaking zombies creators and all that but it is it is interesting i like how uh this, the discussion of zombies is um coming back everyone's starting to talk about zombies again and it's 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 nice i don't know it just seems like things are really starting to um pick up for zombies in the next game and i'm i, I just can't wait Okay, speaking about things that are freaking terrible under Jason Blundell's watch, these freaking gladiators, I hate them so much. Like, look how many, like, it's so stupid. Especially if we have three of them like that, like, they just fuck you up. Get out of here. 
Oh my god, if you've ever watched me stream this map, you would know that these are like the devil to me. These are the worst creation in zombies history with gladiators. Same with tigers. There's no reason why a tiger should have more health than a dog. How many are we at? Okay, we're halfway there, so probably like another five rounds or so, and we'll get to a thousand, maybe even more, because this is nine. And there's a freaking max ammo round every other three rounds. Yeah, there we go. By the way, if you guys have anything to say or have any ideas of what is to come in the next Treyarch game, leave them down in the comments below. Like, I'll read them and I'll reply to them. You guys know I will. And I'm, I'm just curious to know what you guys would think, and like just see where your guys' heads at if you guys are excited for the new zombies or if you're not because like it or not i'm getting a new game and zombies will be put put back on this channel even if you like it or not so just 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 need to know oh shit get away from me holy shit dude that's not fair Alive? Oh my god. Oh my god. How did I even survive that? Come. Yes. There it is. Fucking finally. Oh my god. It took 29 days. 29 days, but I finally got every single goddamn gun in Black Ops 4 Zombies. The Dark Matter. <sighs> Thank god. Alright, where is it? Right here? There she is. Ah, oh, gold, diamond, dark matter. <clears throat> 28 days, 2 hours, 22 minutes, and 12 seconds. Wow. That's a lot of twos. But, <laughs> oh, shit. I gotta go outside. But, yeah, I thought I'd make this video to pay tribute to Jason Blundell for his 13 years of service and, like, personally thank him for all, like, the memories that I've had with my friends and just playing the game and... Thank you for inspiring me to do YouTube. Like, <laughs> it's a big reason why I started YouTube is because of zombies. So, yeah. Thank you for your service to the Call of Duty community and good luck in your future endeavors, mate. Now, as for you, turd lickers, I am going to try my best to be a little bit more consistent with uploads. I'm going to try at least to get two videos out a week, even if it's like a stream or something. I'm just going to get some content out for you guys and, yeah, just. Thank you so much for sticking with me, and I'll see you guys in uh, the next video. Peace out.